The following report is made possible through the generous support of my patrons. Thank you. California's Orange County plans to launch a pilot program for digital vaccine and testing passports, according to health authorities. The inoculation and testing credentialing arrangement will be rolled out sometime in April, Orange County Healthcare Agency officials said on Twitter. Quote, the digital passport enables individuals to participate safely and with peace of mind in activities that involve interactions with other people, including travel, attractions, conferences, meetings, concerts, sports, school, and more, officials said. While details are scant about how the digital passports would work, the Orange County Health Agency's director and health officer, Dr. Clayton Chow, told the OC Register that the county's existing Othena inoculation scheduling appointment app could be modified to include a credentialing feature. Chow added that printed cards could be issued to people that don't use smartphones. The Othena app is being used to schedule inoculation appointments at the county's mass inoculation sites, including Disneyland. California Public Health Officer Dr. Tomas Aragon said last week that there are currently no plans to create a state-level inoculation passport system, although health officials are looking into formulating standards and guidelines around the use of such credentials. Aragon stated that if federal authorities don't move fast enough with developing such guidelines, quote, we will come up with technical standards that will be expected, really focusing on making sure that privacy is protected and that equity is protected, close quote. The pilot program comes amid controversy over digital passport-style systems that have been proposed in some countries and as some U.S. states and regions have either considered their adoption or moved forward with their deployment. The governor of Hawaii's latest emergency proclamation includes a plan for digital inoculation passports that would allow travelers to avoid quarantine and virus testing. While there is no timeline for its adoption, and it still needs approval by the director of the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green told Hawaii News Now that the plan is to launch a pilot for inter-island travel by May 1st. New York State has also rolled out its Excelsior Pass. It's a system that requires people to show that they've been inoculated when trying to enter certain events and locations. Digital inoculation passports have been criticized by civil liberties groups. They say that the passports would potentially violate Americans' privacy rights and deny key services to people that haven't submitted to the jab. The Biden administration has said that it would not develop a federal vaccine passport system, but that it would come up with guidelines around their use and leave development to the private sector and local authorities. Several governors, including Texas Governor Greg Abbott, and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis have issued executive orders barring the use of inoculation passports. Arizona's Congressman Biggs has introduced legislation that would ban federal agencies from future issuance of any standardized documentation that could be used to certify virus inoculation status to third parties like airlines or restaurants. Biggs' proposed bill would also prohibit proof of virus inoculation from being a requirement to access federal or congressional property and services, Biggs' office said in a statement. Quote, My private health care decisions, and yours, are nobody else's business, close quote, Biggs said. The congressman concluded by stating that digital passports will simply impose more Big Brother Surveillance on Our Society Narrator's Note It's not like I didn't warn you. This is Nancy Morgan Hart.